So back in the States, uh, people that aren't racing fans would know you from the movie Rush. What did you think of the movie? Uh, it was a funny story because I'd never been in this type of operation, so I was called by Peter Morgan, who wrote the script, that he has this idea, and um, I should sit down with him. So I sat down with him in Vienna, and um, he said to me, I have this idea, but I tell you now, you won't like it. Why would I not like it? Because I write the script. And I'm in charge, and I know. Fine. So he won a Golden Globe or whatever. I thought he should know what he's doing. So and then you were fine relinquishing control. I was fine with this, and no problem. <coughs> and then he started asking me questions. Question, question, question. I met with him maybe seven, eight times. And then he asked funny questions, stupid questions. I got a little bit worried how he asked questions. Then I said, read something to me. How the movie's gonna look like? He says, no. <laughs> so I said, read. Why not? You got my cooperation, tell me yours. Okay, I read one thing. So he opened his laptop and says, uh, uh, you got in the Ferrari and you jumped in, put the seat belts on, you turned the key and off you went. I said, are you nuts? <laughs> There is no bloody key in a Ferrari racing car. There's a button, yeah? And I can't put the seatbelts on myself. So if you make a movie like this, I'm gonna stop because it's not a movie where even the least important things are in order. So then Peter got a little worried and then he asked me all these technical questions carefully. It ended up when I met Daniel Brühl I jumped forward now, even when they were shooting. Daniel called me and said, do you first put the helmet on or the gloves? And he was the actor that portrayed the you in yeah. the movie. So I said, logically, I put first the helmet on because I have to close the helmet without gloves, and then I put the gloves on. So this was then an ongoing situation. Daniel, I met. Again in Vienna, he came along. I did not know what movies he did beforehand. And um, he looked nice and sympathetic. And then I said, what is the most difficult thing for you to do now in this movie? He said, the most difficult thing is that you are alive. I said, what do you mean? You are alive, people know you. People know how you talk, you're in television, you are, you're here. So if I have to play somebody who is not alive anymore, it's much easier for me because I don't need to watch all these details. And the most important thing for me is to understand how you are. And then I sat down with him a couple of times in Vienna. Then he got an Austrian teacher that the German guy cannot speak Austrian language properly. He's always German. Then he learned to speak Austrian in Vienna. I got a relation with him because I liked him. And then I took him to Brazil to a race. Uh, in my plane with his girlfriend. And we flew 12 hours all the way down, spent time together. I showed him the modern Formula One, which had nothing to do with the movie. And so we really got together well. This helped him to, to play me that well, because he, I think he did an outstanding job uh, playing me, I have to say. What was your reaction when you watched the movie for the first time? When I saw the movie the first time, they showed it in Vienna to me without music not with the right cuts, they're just the raw, the raw movie. And when I looked at it, I said, oh, I must have really been an in the past. Because the way he played me, and I said yes and no, and always negative and forward and backwards, I really was worried myself, and I was not happy, to be honest. You weren't? No. First time, uncut, no music. Did you tell them? I said to Peter, you, you made your movie, you're right. But I think I was not that bad. You know, that's what I said to him. Mm -hmm. And then we went on to London, premiere of the movie, and I was worried going in there. All the people there watching the movie the first time. And then I looked at it when the music was on and the movie started to be different even to me. And I always looked around how the people react. 
right. watching it. And then I, I saw them laughing, I saw them crying, and there was a lot of emotion in the public uh, watching the movie. And by accident, Eccleston was sitting next to me in the movie. And when the movie was over, Bernie said, Pa, that movie is good. I want to see it right away again. And then I thought, wow. this is a good start for the movie. And everybody applauds and everybody. So my thinking in the beginning was too bad, too hard. In the end, I think it worked out very well for the people who watched the movie. What part of the movie most sticks out to you? I think it's 80% right, really, what happened in this year. Uh, there's a little bit of Hollywood in there, which is logic. Sure. But altogether, I have to say, especially with the acceptance of the people watching it, I really like it. W what's your favorite part? I think the, you have to see the movie as a whole. And the favorite part is in the end, where I talk to James when he's going partying and I went back to Ferrari and work. And this, this so-called friendship we had in the beginning, then we lost it, and then it came back in the end, was really the truth of the movie.